The final four problems are converting rectangular equations to polar equations. So basically what we want to do is use those same equations that we were using before to convert these equations so it's r equals something. And this something could just be a number um, or it can have a trig function in it. So let's go ahead and take a look at number one and see if we can convert that into a polar equation. So hopefully the first thing that you notice is there's an x squared and a y squared in this equation. That is always good because we know that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So I'm going to group those two together so I can convert that later and then write 3x minus 4y equals 0. Um, we also know that x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. And we can use those two equations to replace the x and the y in this equation. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So we're going to replace these two terms with an r squared. And then we'll substitute in r cosine theta for x and r sine theta for y. And we really don't need these parentheses right here, so I'll just erase them. Okay, so now our equation is pretty close to looking like a polar equation. The last thing that we would want to do is this should be r equals something. So we want to move the 3r cosine theta and the 4r sine theta to the other side. So we end up with r squared equals 3r cosine theta, I'm sorry, negative 3r cosine theta plus 4r sine theta. And see how each term has an r in it? If each term has an r in it, what you are allowed to do is divide everybody by an r. So our final equation is going to be r equals, and I'm going to write 4 sine theta first, because it's positive, minus 3 cosine theta. And that is our polar equation. Let's take a look at x equals negative 10. So again, we know that x equals, oopsies, what is going on? Okay, we got it back. I don't know what happened there. So we know that x equals r cosine theta. So that's what we'll replace the x with. And then we just want to be able to get r by itself, so let's divide by cosine theta. So we end up with r equals negative 10 over cosine theta. And we remember that whenever cosine theta is in the denominator, it is really the inverse of cosine, which is secant. So our final answer is negative 10 secant theta. For the next problem, y equals x square root 3. There's a couple different ways to do it. There's kind of a longer way and a shortcut way. So the um, long way would be to recognize that y equals sine theta, I'm sorry, r sine theta, and plug that in, and x equals r cosine theta, and go from there. But the shortcut is to recognize that tan theta equals y over x. So, if I divide both sides by x, I get y over x equals the square root of 3, and y over x equals tan theta, so we just end up with tan theta equals the square root of 3, and that is a perfectly good polar equation. So we can just leave it as tan theta equals the square root of 3. 
For our fourth and final equation, we notice that we have an x squared plus y squared, which gets us stoked because we know that automatically equals r squared. And then we want to distribute the 3, so we have 3x squared minus 3y squared. Unfortunately, x squared minus y squared does not equal r squared, so we can't replace that. But we can replace the x with r cosine theta. Just remember that that needs to go into parentheses, and it needs to be squared. And we can replace the y with r sine theta, except we don't want the 3 in parentheses because the 3 is not squared, just the r sine theta is. Okay, so that'll give us r squared plus 3, and remember the square needs to go to the r and the cosine, so 3r squared, whoops, not cubed, 3r squared cosine squared theta minus 3r squared sine squared theta. And we can definitely factor out the r squared. So we will end up getting 1 plus actually I don't know if we want to factor out that r squared let's see what to do let's move the 3 r squared cosine squared and the 3 r squared sine squared to the other side of the equation and we'll leave this r squared over here so we'll get r squared equals a positive 3r squared sine squared theta minus a 3r squared cosine squared theta. And we can Okay, so now we want to divide each side, or every term, by 3r squared, since we have an r squared on the other side. And that will give us 1 third equals sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta. And what we want to try to do is get this to be all the same trig function. So we can turn sine squared theta to 1 minus cosine squared theta. And we still have this minus cosine squared theta. So we have 1 third equals 1 minus 2 cosine squared theta. We're almost done. We just want to isolate our trig function. So let's subtract 1. So negative 2 thirds equals negative 2 cosine squared theta. And then divide by negative 2 or multiply by negative one half. So we end up with uh, one third equals cosine squared theta. And then square root both sides. So our final answer will be plus or minus root three over three equals cosine theta. And that is our final polar equation.